Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is my sweet Tinkercad All Terrain Tire. I had some ideas yesterday about how to mod it. So let's get cracking. So my friends, first you need to have created this. If you have not done it yet, there will be a card up above that you can click so you can build it in about 15 minutes and then you'll be able to play with this next part. So here's what I wanna do, friends. I wanna reuse what we built with a different tread. I'm gonna do Control D and I'm gonna move the whole project aside. I don't need the center, I'll do that later because all the cool work happens with the tire piece. We are going to ungroup it. We need to save this piece, so I'm going to move it across. And remember, we just did a line for everything. I'm going to move this over here. And friends, all I want to do is make a different tread. Now, if you remember, last time we came out here with a box, and I told you I wanted you to make this one 15, I wanted you to make this one 6, and I wanted you to make this one 5. So I'm rebuilding that so that you remember the general size of what our tread was. So here we go, this is our tread mod. I'm gonna take this little piece and do Control D and let's use Fit View to zoom in. I'm gonna change its radius to two. And then I'm gonna take this and then I wanna make the steps five. Now that was a lucky click, normally I would type it. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make it a rectangle and then I wanna rotate it 45 degrees. Now I have not tested this, I'm just having fun making it. So I'm gonna do Control D and I'm gonna nudge it across, and then I want to flip it this way. And I don't even care that they're not quite aligned. This is what I'm just gonna experiment with. Control D, nudge the other one across, and just like that, I have got a tread pattern that is about the same size as what I had before. I'm gonna just try and get that a little closer on the width, and let's experiment with it. So now I can delete this piece. I'm gonna grab all of these and I'm gonna do the five millimeter nudge. Control D, I'm gonna do Control up once. I'm gonna go two clicks over and then I'm going to rotate it. If you remember right, it was 30 degrees. Once again, I got lucky I didn't have to type it, but now I'm just gonna do Control D without touching anything else until they come back to the bottom of the tire. Just like that, we've got a different experimental tread. I'm gonna delete the old tread. Notice we did group that. And then we're gonna select all this and group it. And then we can reassemble our tire. So real quickly, I'm gonna bring this back in. Remember we stretched it to more than 50 or whatever? I'm gonna hold down shift and shrink it. And I remember that we used 46 for the original shape. If we select those two and click align, I'm gonna make the tread the master, center, center, and center, and boom, that tread is in place. Let's bring our tire shape in place and select all that once again. Make the blue one the master this time, center, center, and end, center. All right, friends, so we wanna nudge this a little different, so let's switch our nudge back to point one, and then we need to hold alt and shift and that changes in every direction at once until we're getting the amount of subtraction that we want. I think that is going to be pretty interesting. So let's group it and see what we made. All right, friends, so as you can see, we've got something hanging over. Let's double click and see if we can fix that. What is happening is our shape is not quite as wide as we want it. So let's try that right there. And if this doesn't work, we'll just have to adjust what we built with, and I'll show you how to do that. Once you click somewhere else, it does the slicing again, or the grouping if you wanna call it that. Hey, and look at that. Now we've got it at a width where our tire is pretty decent. Not perfect, but friends, all I wanted you to know was that you can adjust and make your own custom patterns, and then you can use that tire again and again as well. 
So my friends, you can see there is a lot of room for you to play with this and make it better. If I had my own ATV and I was trying to model it, I would go out and look at the tires, see what that tread looked like, and you could pretty easily make just about any custom tread with a little bit of trial and error. Friends, if you make something awesome, don't forget you can almost immediately share it with me by generating a link, copying a link, and shipping it to me on any of the social media. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tanker Cat. And of course, if you visit hlmodtech.com, don't forget there is a Tinkercad tab. And down in the bottom right hand corner, there is a messaging app that lets you reach out to me almost instantly. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.